Michael. You're watching Shop Talk with Auto E Clinic, where we recap and review on the video that we had just done. What we want to talk about today, Michael, we had a 2002 Volkswagen Passat 1.8 engine code D turbo. It come in with a P0420 code. Let us know what that's about, Mike. That was the P0420, Catalyst Efficiency Below Threshold. Very common code, very common. Catalytic converters, they don't last forever. They're not a moving part, but they do heat up and they do burn what the engine does not. I can't tell you how many times a week I run into this code. Sometimes you can clean the chemical converter with some type of solid cleaner. I know GM makes some. You use a mixture of gas and sea foam. There's all kinds of stuff that I've heard, even stuff that I've tried and used. So sometimes that works, most of the time it doesn't. Also, it could be an actual O2 sensor problem because you had your your O2 sensor before the catalytic converter and your O2 sensor after the catalytic converter. And the reading, the difference of the reading between the two sensors is how the computer knows whether the catalytic converter is working efficiently or not. I believe if I'm right, it has to maintain 90% efficiency through the catalytic converter or if it falls below the specification, then it's bad. And I think that's a U.S. government specification, if I'm not, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Uh, that sounds correct because that is a national... Mandate. Federal, correct, Federal yes, mandate. yes. Yay government. Yes. <laughs> now, once again, it's a very common code on this particular Volkswagen. This, this uh, problem we saw ran for about four or five years, I think, on just about every Volkswagen I ran across. I can't tell you how many of these I've done these Volkswagens. I know aftermarket, uh, these Kelly Converters I'm getting, putting them on the cars, they have a five year warranty. I'm very happy with them. And they're doing well, but they're still costing the customer. You know, eight hundred, twelve hundred dollars. Yes, they're very expensive. Whether you have them or OEM, sometimes you have to be careful when after on these because Very. they will they will not keep up with the efficiency rate that they should to keep from setting the code. I've seen garages on this actual this car. It was one year newer. They actually took a universal catalytic converter and made it work and welded it in, and it did not work. Now, different manufacturers require different specifications for that catalytic converter, either a four inch block or a five inch block or a six inch block, depending on the car or whatever. That being said, you can't just put a universal catalytic converter, especially on a European Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes, they will not work. You have to go back with a good direct fit aftermarket converter with a warranty or OEM. Yeah, most definitely. If you want to do, you know, have this check out yourself, make sure you get new gaskets as well. Because a lot of times, if there's a gasket there, you need to go ahead and replace it. You could cause an exhaust leak. Absolutely. Now, this what we did this test is not always accurate now we tested the inlet temperature versus the outlet temperature there should be an increase in temperature from inlet to outlet you should have a higher temperature on the outlet in this case we had a higher temperature on the inlet now this is not a 100 percent foolproof test but it does give you a good idea and a good generic idea and we know the problem with these Volkswagens is so common that these catalytic converters are bad but we did spend the time and we did justify and verify that there was a catalytic converter problem because Pretty much with any car, you should have a hotter outlet than inlet on a catalytic converter. Explain to us, Mike, why it's hotter and cooler. The catalytic converter burns what the engine does not. You still have some raw fuel coming out of an engine, no matter how efficient it's running. Now, the catalytic converter is made up of a lot of precious metals, precious metals, tungsten, zinc, call it jazz, platinum. And the catalytic converter heats up. And as it heats, it burns what the engine doesn't. But what's coming in is going to cool it off. And then as it, gets, as it burns, it's going to get hotter on the backside. At least that's how I know it, how I remember it. I'm sure I'm going to get corrected by somebody here. But that's how I see it in my head. So that's why the outlet temperature is hotter than the inlet temperature. Okay. Also, another thing you want to remember, whether you go with aftermarket or whether you go with OEM, there's also going to be a core charge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know uh, some of the catalytic converters I can sell to some people for as much as $100 for a core. Some are, you know, 20 bucks. It all depends on what you have. But, the precious metals, they recycle them because they are very expensive metals. Now, from the dealer side, you being with uh, GM, I know I work for GM too, their catalytic converters are not cheap. Oh no, sometimes you're looking at three, four hundred dollars in the low end, sometimes where they're a complete Wi-Fi and made together, 11, 12, 1300 dollars. 15 on And them. some of the uh, more luxury GM vehicles come with the exhaust, mufflers, tips, and everything. You're looking at close to two thousand dollars. Go Cadillac. Yes. Now, I've never seen a GM converter cost three to four hundred dollars. Uh, some of the uh, small ones do the single one. What's that one car GM makes? The, the Aveo. Yeah, maybe on an Aveo. Possibly. I don't want to consider that a GM car. Uh, no, it's a crossover. <laughs> Somebody's left with somebody. <laughs> yeah. So, a lot of good information here on the Cadillac converter because if you own a car, you keep it 
any number of length of time, 10 years or longer, you're probably going to run into a catalyst, catalyst efficiency code, a P0420. We hope you give you some, some information here to push in the right direction for diagnostics. Another thing, Mike, uh, tell them what would kind of happen with some of the symptoms if your converter was failing. Now, they will sometimes stop up or block up. Now, and a lot of times when they block up, you will not get a code. I know I've tried to learn to diagnose these the hard way. And what you'll get is a reduced power. As, and the hotter the vehicle gets, the less power the vehicle has. At that point, you want to remove the before catalytic converter O2 sensor. That will allow the exhaust to escape. And if you have a power increase at that point, you know it's a stopped up catalytic converter. Okay. So a you know, converter code is something that you don't want to let stay on and not get fixed. No, no, it's only going to cause the car to be less efficient and eventually cause you more problems in the end. It, because it will change the fuel, because fuel is put into the car by the, the oxygen sensor readings. And if the cat's not reading properly, that means the O2 sensors are eventually not going to read properly. And so this is going to cause a lot more problems than what you need to have. You need to get this problem addressed much, much sooner than later. Now, that being said, also, most manufacturers, I think it's a federal mandate, warranty these catalytic converters for 80,000 miles or eight years? Eight years or 80,000. Is that what GM's doing? Now, I think it's a federal mandate because that is a federal emissions standard part that has to be on there. So I think the federal government mandated them, required them to warrant them that long. Is that correct? That sounds great. Now, I have run into this. It was um, a Mazda, and I don't want to go pointing fingers at anybody, but I did. The, the dealership would not verify it was a bad Cadillac burden. They charged the customer an hour diagnosis. They got her for 100 bucks, and then told her there was no problem. Of course, the light came back on a week later, Kelly Cabrera code again, and I ran through the actual OEM steps from Mazda and then verified it was a bad Kelly Cabrera. And then she went back to Mazda, and of course, Mazda would replace it. Hmm. So be very, very careful about your dealerships. I'm not saying they're all bad, I'm saying some are, just like some independent garages. Go back over. If they tell you Kelly Cabrera is bad and you've got a P0420, then you need to find out why that code's on there. If they tell you it's on there for no reason, they are wrong. Codes do not pop up for no reason, especially on a 420 code. Exactly. We appreciate you for watching today. Check us out on Facebook, like our page, follow us on Twitter. Also go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to us, that way you will get in your inbox the most latest and updated videos that we put out. Yes. And also if you have any questions, email us at autoeclinic at, auto at gmail.com. Also visit our website, it's got a contact page, you can leave your information, we'll get it. Uh, may take us a day or two, but we'll try to get to your questions and answer them as best as we can. As quick as we can. And uh, what's that stuff you use to get the gray out of your hair? Just for men. You might want to use a little more. Yeah.